Today we're searching some tide pools for some epic fish, some awesome wildlife, and maybe we'll even see a few sharks today. Let's jump right into it, see what we can find in this beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous water. Let's get into it. for the day, a half bag of cashews, or pistachios, because sometimes we're here for like six hours, so Jack, we should split like, yeah, we I'll get, get like 10 nuts. Yeah, like four, oh, okay, 10, I'll take 10, that's pretty generous. We each get like 10 nuts, maybe nine and a half nuts, and then we, this is, we're each gonna share this as well, so 10 ounces each as well. Yeah, I didn't bring any water. That's what we have for the next Very standard hours. of me. Well, we do have our cutest bucket I've ever seen. I know. It's the clutchest bucket, actually, ever. You wanna bring these nets? Feels good, though. Feels good to be back at the beach, ladies and gentlemen. We got the rods in the hand, we got the bucket, we got the net. It's finally feeling like summer. The big fish are gonna be cruising the beaches. I'm one happy man to finally be hitting the sand. I feel like it's been a little bit. Sometimes we come in the winter time and it's like, you never know what we can find. But now, summertime, <coughs> bait fish, big fish, warm water, sunlight, sandy feet. Drone. Drone. As well. Oh yeah, don't forget the drone. That's the money maker. We're gonna go find some fish. Let's go. Watch out, I got a stick in my hand. Yeah, that's a Anytime I'm, that's there's a, a stick in my hand, I'm just it's a shank. Flying it around. Your guy's a fish guy. Is he? Yeah, the sewer guy. Hey guys, to be honest, you know, we're filming today, five hours, put in work trying to catch some fish for you guys, but all I can think about is the amazing stuff coming out on Fish Guy Shop soon. It's gonna blow your guys' mind. I mean, new products. I mean, it's gonna be sick, guys. It's gonna be sick. We are in, we are deep in the trenches right now on testing and finding the best top of the line stuff for you guys. Stuff that we use every day. Oh, I'm so fired up to share more, but it's gonna be a long process. We gotta perfect everything to put on the site because we want you guys to be able to actually use this stuff and it, for it to work effectively. Cannot wait to share more. That's just a little hint. Stay tuned. I'm yeah, fired up. Yeah, I was barely sleeping last night. I barely sleeping slept last night. I barely Thinking slept. about it. I was fired up. What's going on here? This lady's sitting at the red light. I mean, at the green light. Really interesting that she's just had not moving. We bring the whole arsenal. Sampley rig. Don't net. leave anything behind. Net. Big net, little net, Sampley rig, rods, cast net. Wow. It is a wow. gorgeous day out. It finally is Gorgeous summer, day. It is a slick rig. We should be offshore. We should be offshore. Look at that. Damn. Holy crap, bro. It is so nice. I haven't seen the ocean this calm in a while. Now, whenever we do these videos, you guys think we just appear at the tide pool spot. We just spawn. But really, do you guys know, it's a two-mile walk there and back every single time. What is that over there? I don't know. I see little fish. Oh, stuff's blowing up right yeah. there. Stuff's blowing up right there, Jack? Stuff's skipping. Oh, I gotta get the drone up. There could be a bunch of tarpon just eating Dude, those a pilch. Bunch. Look at all that bait right there. I know. That's they're all far live away. bait. That big black spot on the ocean is all live bait, Brooke. The birds are the diving. Birds are diving, yeah. Anytime you see action, you always take the opportunity to fly the drone up because you never know when there's gonna be action. It's crazy what this little thing can do. It's tiny, but this thing is a wizard. Only a couple more miles to go of our walk. I'm already winded. Doesn't help that it's literally steaming. It feels so good though. I love it. There's tons of fish all jumping, but they're moving quick. I have no idea what they are, bro. They might be like needlefish. Literally like needlefish, dude. Like actually, that's what I see. Just a giant school of needles, dude. I mean, that's what it looks like. They don't look big. There's a, yeah, yeah, I see them. I see, can see them from here. Yeah, it's just a bunch of needlefish jumping all over the little tiny bait. All right, then let's keep trekking. Let's keep getting our way down to the rock. Usually that rock holds a lot of bait fish and it also holds a lot of really big fish. You guys have seen it in countless videos. All those big sharks, stingrays, snook, tarpon, barracudas, everything. They love that rock. And it's been quite some time since we've been here and it's good to be back. We got about a mile journey, so let's get to it. Ooh, we made it. Nice brisk walk all the way here. So obviously it's rough walking in the sand with your uh, whips on. With your whips on, you got your whips on rocking in the sand. I try to avoid the water as much as possible because it's just gonna slow me down. So we're trekking along, walking all the way to our spot, a couple miles, or about a mile, a little over a mile. I tracked it on my watch, you know. Gotta get that exercise in. So flew all the way down here, kept the drone in the sky, flew all the way down to the beach, didn't see much right now, but that's because I was walking at the same time. So now I got it in the sky. First thing I like to do when I get here, immediately go up and down the beach, see if we see any wildlife lurking 
around this area. That's what we're gonna do. Now guys, down the beach, just flew it a little bit down, further down from where we're at. And there is a big old Cuda sitting in like two feet of water. He is so shallow and he sticks out like a sore thumb on the drone because his shadow is just so big. It's literally just a predator sitting in the shallows. So cool. I'm not sure exactly how big he is, but he's got some decent size. He's definitely not a small one. It's just crazy because I think he's right in between the little uh, sandbar. So he's sitting so shallow. It's actually nuts. This is the first big fish I've seen today. Always cool seeing predators swim in the shallow waters, especially if he swims over by us. We're definitely going to have to hook up to this guy. We're definitely going to catch him. Now while Chris is flying the drone looking for a big fish for me to run down and go catch, I'm going to see if I can catch some sand fleas because I know Earl, our beloved Earl Jr. the third is at home waiting for a nice meal. And if we can give him a nice sand flea, he would be so stoked. We've never fed him sand fleas before, so I'm interested to see what he does. Let's see if we can get some sand fleas, then work our way to bait and hopefully catch a big fish today. Should I start raking it in? Now supposedly, between the months of April and the end of May, is sand flea season. So there should be a ton of sand fleas up and down the whole entire beach here. And what you wanna look for is just these little tiny, almost like whisker little things that poke up out of the water, but the tide's really low and the waves aren't really crashing. They like when the waves are hammering the sand, blowing way up and coming back down. Then they come up for a second and then they go right back down. So we might have to do a lot of digging, but hey, it'll be worth it. Nothing. Pretty crazy that I have about a, a 12 inch little uh what do you call that diameter that along this whole beach and i'm hoping that i'll find a sand flea you know luck of the draw lots of shells shells i was walking down the beach trying to find some sand fleas and i look in the water and if you actually look right over here it looks like just a cloud and it's really hard to see them because these things are pretty much transparent they're right there literally in this area like right here it's a huge there's probably a million glass minnows sitting there i came i swept the net like a savage and i got literally probably 100. so i'm gonna do it again for you guys watch this like a bird gotta be like a bird Come here. Otherwise they're gonna get all over the beach. Look at how many. Look at how many glass minnows, dude. Those are insane. Look at that, they're all so clear. They're so transparent. I don't wanna get them all over the sand, but look at that. They are so transparent and there's millions of them. There's literally millions and millions of them. And you know, when we were flying the drone earlier, we saw those fish eating something. That is what they're eating. We couldn't pick it up on the drone because you can't even see them in the water right now. But that is a good sign because those are like the first bait fish we get. They come through our area before we get, you know, our big schools of pilchers and stuff like that. So that's a great sign. I don't even know how many we just netted right there, but over a hundred. We got a bunch of them already in the bucket. We're gonna take some home, feed the fish. But that's always super cool when you can swipe your net like that and literally catch like 200. We need to get better nets though, because if we had like smaller mesh, we, not one would have escaped, not one. Guys, this is the biggest sea turtle I've ever seen ever flying the drone. These are the ones I see way offshore when I'm on the boat. This guy is a breeder. This is a massive, massive turtle. Easily the biggest one I've ever seen cruising the beach. Usually we see, we see the little babies, the smaller guys, you know, the medium sized turtles swimming really fast. This guy is a goliath sea turtle. I hope you guys can tell just how big this thing is on the drone. He is so extra large and in charge, it's not even funny. This guy is massive. I'm gonna see if he can come up one more time for air because he did come up earlier for us and he's right next to us right off the beach. So let's see if he wants to come up for air one more time, but he's swimming super slow. He's not swimming fast. He's very casual right now. So I'm not sure what he's exactly trying to do. Coming up, he's coming up, she's coming up. She's coming up. Dude, this thing is huge, Jack. Well, there it is. This thing is a massive, dude. I think it's, she's got a remora That is so on awesome. She's got like three remoras on her or, dude, there's a big fish on her. There might be a cove underneath her, Jack. Dude, there's a, there's a big fish on her. 
That's a sick turtle. That's one of the biggest turtles I've ever seen. Now, I did see while I was flying down there, this is right next to us, right off the beach. But down there, I saw a couple more kudas and I saw two big black tip sharks that were cruising super shallow. So those fish, uh, those, one of them was a little bit deeper swimming along the waters and another one I saw was really, really shallow. Black tips are always fun to see. You can't go to the beach in Florida, fly the drone up and not see a black tip shark. They're just absolutely everywhere. There were some people swimming in the water super shallow and the shark was super close to them. So obviously when you're in Florida, you're in the ocean, the sharks are around, no doubt about that. Don't think that they're not, but they're, they're not gonna do anything to you, but they are around. The other thing I saw was a giant tarpon, a massive, massive tarpon, huge. Biggest one I've seen in a long time here. And uh, he looked almost the same size, if not bigger than the black tip sharks. He was a Goliath, Goliath tarpon. We've, there's a theme going on right now. It's seeing massive stuff. I saw a massive tarpon who was swimming super fast. He was on a mission, probably trying to get away from those black tips, those pesky black tips. And then now this massive, turtle so another good day flying the drone seeing some awesome wildlife around here it's just i just love sea turtles don't be trashy shout out to our don't be trashy shirt featuring our sea turtle do do not be trashy the sea turtles will appreciate you very much another amazing wildlife spotted right there it is a big old manatee cruising with a tarpon actually and this manatee's got wheels he's got wheels it's just one manatee last time we saw about three or four together but look at that guy that's just amazing a sea cow right next to a tarpon too jack there's a tarpon right next to it is it really yeah literally right next to well, it well good thing there's a boat and uh this manatee has Absolute wheels, dude. He's cruising down the beach. I don't know why manatees would be cruising down the beach. What are they looking for over here? Seaweed? This lady's getting her GoPro going in the water. Off the oh, I'm gonna run right into the boat. Look at the boat right there. Look at that boat right there, looking right at that manatee. The lady's filming it with the GoPro. <laughs> That's epic. So cool. That manatee's like the beam of the boat, which is kind of crazy. It's got a couple slashes in him. Oh, oh it just, just came, came off. off. Oh. Let's go, let's go. So cool, dude. The amount of power in those animals is actually crazy, but they're harmless, which is also crazy. And there's tarpon everywhere. It's just, there's not a lot of catchable, there's no bait really that we've been seeing. So it's hard to catch anything. I've been seeing tons of wildlife, manatees, turtles, fish, kudas, tarpon, but no catchable fish just yet. Black tip versus manatee right here, guys. And then the black tip does a straight up U-turn. And here is video of never before seen footage. Literally first time ever. Manatee, this manatee's hunting down this black tip, literally chasing him. The black tip's so scared. He dipped out of there. He dipped out of there. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. What are we gonna see here? Are we gonna see a shark attack a manatee? The, sh the shark is going right for him. The shark's going right for him, dude. I'm not even kidding you, Jack. The shark is right behind him. He's obviously not gonna try to do anything because there's no way he could- Sea cow. There's no way he could do anything, right? No, there's no way. That's a little tiny black tip. One smack of the tail. All right, the black tip's done. I thought That's for- big a, Betsy. I thought for a second we were gonna see a black tip shark try to eat a manatee. That would have been freaking nuts. So, sea cows, the victor. Tons of fish in this little hole here, guys. Tons. Little crevasse. And I did see a crab, of course, water on my feet. Not what I wanted. I hate water being wet entirely. I use three towels per shower. I don't like being wet, OCD on wetness. Just letting everyone know. Jack, scoop up these fish, dude. Oh my God, the size of this crab. Is Holy that a is massive crab? Oh my Holy God. Holy crap. Dude. The crab is massive. And fish. Fish alert. Fish alert. Big crab alert. He doesn't have any pinchers. Look at these fish. It's huge. It's as big as my hand. Today's the day of little baby fish in weird areas. Look at that little thing right there. I want to get this guy back in the water because it, it appears as though he's probably got like very weakness. Very go, weakness. Buddy. Very weakness. Yeah, he actually swam off pretty good. Oh, Sergeant Majors galore. I'm letting my crab go. Sergeant Majors galore. Guys, hold on. Let me let the crab go. I can't help myself. Yeah, let him go. Nice. Later, buddy. Brooke, so many sergeant majors, babies. Got one, two, three, they all just swim in the net, all three of them. All three and a weird looking blenny. Take it out. We got a blenny and a sergeant, couple sergeant majors. That is pretty epically epic, dude. Where'd that crap? You know who loves sergeant majors? Oh, Sponge. It might be a good time to bring him back some sergeant majors so we can crush them. Not gonna lie. Different crab. Jay, you wanna get him? Big wave incoming. Wet, oh, wet God. feet, don't like wetness. Wet ass, I got swats, Hey, Got one. 
Got one. Nice. Got one. Spider crab. Spider, yep. That's spider, spider crab. crab. He's so fast, dude. He's gonna get out. Oh, dude! That is the world's fastest crab. I think it's a spider crab. And they are wicked fast. Watch how fast he's gonna swim off. Ready? Let's see ya. Let's see you later, buddy. See ya! I think there's fish in this. Jack, Jack has spotted fish. It's hard to tell, but I can't tell. I could be tripping. It's really deep, so I might just take a swing. Oh my god, what the f I just caught like 15 fish! What are these? What the hell? Brooke! I've never caught so many freaking watchman gobies, freaking sand sifting blenny thing looking things in my life. I just caught like 15. That is crazy, dude. Hey, get back over here. You want to get released? You go right back there. Look at this big one. Look how crazy. They just sit there. They perch up just like that. They just perch on the wall and they probably just eat little crabs, little shrimp, little baby fish. Whatever swims by, they probably just go ahead Let and Let me see back. this thing. Oh my God, it's a full blown little blenny sand sifter action right there. Literally. Dude, there's so many. So many little blennies, dude. That's crazy, bro. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna put them back in the same hole because they seem to be really happy in there. Jesus! <laughs> that was happy close. Right there. Replay the happy That feet. was close. <laughs> he went happy feet. That's funny. I have found a dangerous species of crab, guys. A very dangerous species of crab. He's, Jack, you gotta come this way. On my way. Dude, you think we're getting him out of that hole? See that cave right there? See that, see that oh, little arm? Yeah. That's him right there. He's moving back. Oh, he's done. We're never getting him out. You don't think? It's Dang, impressive. dude, that was cool. He was like, I don't think, yeah. He was like this big. I don't think we're getting him out. He was like that big, big old crab. Heart-shaped tide pool, guys. That just made my day. That's God sending me love. Like literally, he made this heart-shaped tide pool for us. I've never seen it here. We can just walk past it and enjoy it. Am I right, Jack? Yeah, so beautiful. Jesus loves you. We're down to our last rations. Oh, that's all I got. It's actually my first ration and my last <laughs> ration. <laughs> yeah, I ate the whole bag. But I got like uh, four nuts left, so we should be able to make it home. Oh my God, our home is all the way down there. Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> oh, let's go home. Brooke, how was your tanning day? Great, a lot of bugs. Brooke pretty much just tans when we go Brooke fishing. Brooke loves the beaches. So, yeah. Not here, there's bugs everywhere. Let's scoop the liveys out and give them to the Get tank. the liveys out, guys. This is gonna be an insane live feeding right here. All these fish are literal savages. You guys seen the damage they do to the frozen shrimp. Once we throw live shrimp in here, or live bait in here, forget it. There's a good batch. These ones are mostly alive, so we can see a good, Frenzy right here, ready? Three, two, one. Here we Let's go. See, they're, they're not used to eating this fish. Mo oh, the grouper. grouper. Wait till that, wait fox till everyone face. figures out. Yeah, bro. Fox Holy face. crap, the fox face is so Spaghetti good. minnows. Spaghetti for him. Literally oh spaghetti. Oh my God, that's sick. Watch that lionfish, watch him get that minnow over there. Oh my God, the big shark wants Ooh. some too. The puffer just exploded, he's getting too excited. <laughs> this fish. is the freshest. Oh, the lionfish has got one. <laughs> this is the freshest bait that these fish are ever gonna see. Wait till that scorpion fish realizes what's about to go on, ready? Here we go. Dun, 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 The grouper! grouper They're used to eating dead, that's the thing. They're used to eating dead. Lionfish. Come on, buddy. Everybody eats this. Come on. I can't believe that big shark, bro. I can't believe the fox. There goes the scorpion. There goes the scorpion. Upside down hunter. Upside down hunter. Look at him. All of our eels are out here grubbing up. The sharks. The shark is Oh my so god, big. the shark is a beast, bro. Our space is going to town. We need a magnificent in here. Magnificent. A real magnificent. Super, ma it's so magnificent. All right, we had a fun day out on the beach, out on the water. First beautiful day in a long time. It's been raining like crazy here. Finally got some blue water. It was refreshing. It was nice to be you know, in between some inlets so we could actually see that blue water, not that dirty brown caca water. We don't want that. But great day out there. Saw a lot of wildlife. Couldn't catch any bigger fish because the bigger bait was not around, but the summer's just getting started. Once that bait shows up, the bigger bait, it's about to go down. It's gonna go down. It's gonna go Hard. down. Fishing's about to get really kicked off. Really, really good. So, had an awesome day today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Peace.